What do you think? It's nice. Case closed. Of course he likes it. He's a guy. Sally. What's so awful about it? It's so awful. There's no way to even begin to explain what's so awful about it. Honey, I don't object to any of your things. If we had an extra room, you could put all your things in, including your bar stools. And well, I would honey, wait, 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 honey, honey, wait, wait, wait. You don't like my bar stools? Harry, come on. Someone has to be on my side. I'm on your side. I'm just trying to help you have good taste. I have good taste. Everybody thinks they have good taste and a sense of humor, but they couldn't possibly all have good taste. You know, it's funny. We started out like this. Ellen and I, we had blank walls, we hung things, we picked out tiles together. Then you know what happens? Six years later, you find yourself singing Surrey with a fringe on top in front of Ira! Do we have to talk about this right now? Yeah, so I think that right now actually is the perfect time to talk about this because I want our friends to benefit from the wisdom of my experience. Right now, everything is great. Everyone is happy, everyone is in love, and that's wonderful. But you gotta know that sooner or later, you're gonna be screaming at each other about who's gonna get this dish. This $8 dish will cost you $1,000 in phone calls to the legal firm of That's Mine, This Is Yours. Harry. Please. Jess, Marie, do me a favor for your own good. Put your name in your books right now before they get mixed up and you don't know whose is whose. Because someday, believe it or not, you'll go 15 rounds over who's going to get this coffee table. This stupid wagon wheel Roy Rogers garage sale coffee table. I thought you liked it. I was being nice. He just bumped into Helen. I want you to know that I will never want that wagon wheel coffee table. I know, I know, I shouldn't have done it. Harry, you're going to have to try and find a way of not expressing every feeling that you have every moment that you have them. Oh, really? Yes. There are times and places for things. Well, the next time you're giving a lecture series on social graces, would you let me know? Because I'll sign up. Hey, you don't have to take your anger out on me. Oh, I think I'm entitled to throw a little anger your way. Especially when I'm being told how to live my life by Miss Hospital Corners. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, nothing bothers you. You never get upset about anything. Don't be ridiculous. What? You never get upset about Joe. I never see that back up on you. How is that possible? Don't you experience any feelings of loss? I don't have to take this crap from you. If you're so over Joe, why aren't you seeing anyone? I see people. See people? Have you slept with one person since you broke up with Joe? What the hell does that have to do with anything? That will prove I'm over Joe because I fuck somebody? Harry, you're going to have to move back to New Jersey because you slept with everybody in New York and I don't see that turning Helen into a faint memory for you. Besides, I will make love to somebody when it is making love, not the way you do it, like you're out for revenge or something. Are you finished now? Yes. Can I say something? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't say a word. 